All right, hello, Brick Kicker World. Andrew Fox, president of the Brick Kicker Inspection Services here, and we are doing another vlog, podcast, video cast, whatever you want to call it, but I am here in our conference room at the Brick Kicker headquarters, and I am got the uh, pleasure of sitting next to Patrick Bergen, correct? Patrick Bergen? That's correct. With Ferret Industries, right? Or Ferret Camera It's systems? actually, uh, it's the Cable Ferret, and actually we just changed the name. It's now Ferret Tools. Ferret Tools. Uh, the Cable Ferret is, is how it's listed on his business card. Uh, but we have him here because he's from South Bend, Indiana, uh, not too far of a drive from our corporate office here in the western suburbs. And the Brick Kicker is always evolving and looking for ways to provide a better inspection experience for all of our guys. So we're recording this right now on my iPhone in our conference room, but we're also demoing a ferret uh, camera in action, and this is the cable ferret. Um, and we've got one kind of peeking in around the corner here. Um, Rob Klaus is using it on his camera pole, and that's why we, as an inspection company, felt it to be a valuable tool. And I first came across this at the ASHI Inspection World Conference New Orleans of this year. Rob has seen this before and he's been playing around with it. And so we wanted to just learn a little bit about the Ferret Company, who you are, what uses right. this is getting, and uh, you know where That's do you right. see it going? Right. Well, Andrew, thanks uh, very much for having me and yeah. appreciate it. Um, and Home Inspectors has been a real sweet spot uh, for the Ferret Wi-Fi. So I'll give you a quick background. Um, I'm in South Bend, Indiana, and I handle sales for the U.S., but uh, which is close by. But what's not close by is Auckland, New Zealand, which is where the, uh, the ferret was invented. The uh, company president, Andrew Whitney, um, was working um, um, with a group of electricians, mm -hmm. and they were in, in hotels and ceiling spaces and, you know, cutting holes in the sides of drywalls to get cable. And he, he decided there had to be a better way. Um, so he began work on this uh, uh, many years ago, and he came up with the Ferret Wi-Fi. So this is really the first um, Wi-Fi inspection camera. It's its own Wi-Fi hotspot. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, called the Cable Ferret because it was originally for pulling cable. Uh, we've recently changed our name to Ferret Tools, and uh, we found so many other ways that this camera is used uh, by tradesmen. Um, again, home inspectors um, turned into a real big uh, sweet spot for us. We've sold thousands. Um, and again, you mentioned some of the uh, ASHI and Internashi and mm -hmm. uh, Inspector World conferences that we've been to, um, and we've sold a lot. And I know you guys have, have enjoyed using it as well. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a great product for the, ins for the inspector because we're on site doing a non-invasive, um, top to bottom general inspection, right? And there's right. some areas that are just plain hard to see. Right. And more and more reports as they're evolving, they're getting more and more detail of photos and having crystal clear photos and imaging is very important because a lot of inspectors will do the inspection on site and then they'll go back home and review the photos. Right. So having a clear image is very right. valuable. and from our guys that are using this tool, they're finding that the zoom features or the, the, the quality of the final picture is right. phenomenal, which is great in pointing out finer details. Yeah. Well, the fact that it's a uh, 720 resolution, yeah. again, you don't see that on many inspection cameras. Mm -hmm. um, guys love the fact that you can, you can snap a photo or you can take video. You can also narrate that video. And as you know, when you're doing a home inspection, mm -hmm. you're able to say where well, it's a Smith household and they have, uh, you know, raccoons in the fireplace or whatever. And mm -hmm. obviously it's time stamped and everything from your smart device. Yeah. You can also take those photos during a video mm -hmm. and it doesn't disrupt the video, which oh, is great. That's awesome. Uh, so that all can be then, you know, um, uh, Upload into your to your reporting software, and, and as the reporting software is getting more and more sophisticated, mm -hmm. uh, it just makes it kind of a seamless thing. So, the Wi-Fi is awesome because uh, we do our reports on our mobile device, right. and to have to take a camera, which is what we've currently been doing, camera. If we have a camera on our 40 foot selfie sticks, we're putting it up, and then we have to download the photo, and then we have to put it and embed it into the report later. This is all Wi Fi, so essentially, I'm taking the picture on my mobile device and I directly embed it right into the report from there, which, right. is, which is huge. So, the Wi Fi signal, what's the Wi Fi range on this typically? 
it's 40 feet, 40 is, what feet. We, okay. is what we say and, and you know it depends on you know what's in the way and so sure. forth but um uh it's 40 foot range and again it, it's funny so many times i've introduced it to people and they say oh it's bluetooth no it's wi-fi it's its own wi-fi hotspot and we jokingly say you could use it on the moon um <laughs> and the only place it doesn't work is underwater or underground okay. because you'll lose the wi-fi yeah um but even if that's if it were submerged and take it back out you know it's fine um just to as a joke um it's only guys waterproof. Put, guys have put it in the dishwasher and and for an inspection because we got to inspect the dishwasher anyway guys have put it on turned it on and we have a whole water feature but that's how waterproof it is so wow. uh, you can uh, it can handle that for those i'm running over with my truck i mean says camera only waterproof with with back, back cap, cap on, on correctly yeah. in place so right. there's the disclaimer yeah but i mean it's a little durable little guy oh it is uh, and it, again i run it over with my pickup truck and mm. we've you know andrew's Throwing against the wall, and it's a it's a little guy, but it's very very durable. And uh, six yeah. LED lights in there, I see. Right. So that's got to be a nice bright uh, shot, especially in those chimney flues. Right. Uh, and from the inspection point of view, underneath decks, in nasty, hard to get to crawl spaces, right. electric panels, attic spaces. So this guy has it all, and it comes with. You know, your typical uh, camera fare comes with what? A case and a couple of... Yeah, it comes with right? the, the case right here. If you can see that. Okay. Um, okay. We, have a, um, we have a front stick uh, to attach to, uh, uh, to uh, fish sticks, glow rods, or any mm -hmm. painter's poles. Mm -hmm. um, then we have the gooseneck, so you're able to, uh, to configure it. Great. Um, and we have a very strong magnet that's, uh, that will pick up a lineless pliers. I've had guys who bought the product and said, you know what, I know right where I'm going when I'm done with this. I'm going to go get that pair of pliers <laughs> down in that drywall yeah, that I was working on last year. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and uh, it also has a hook, obviously, um, for pulling cable and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Um, the lighting, as you mentioned, is great, and it's also adjustable. Um, we used to have that where it was a, a, a three-step push-button mm -hmm. thing on the... Um, uh, you know, on your device, mm -hmm. um, and now it's a, a sliding thing, so it's a rheostat type thing you use oh, your, nice. your finger. So, um, yeah, and we've got more uh, more products coming. Um, so it, yeah, we, so you we guys listen, are... we listen to the trades and, and sure. you know, we listen to guys and and uh, we innovate uh, based on that. So that's what I think is so uh, such a great time and in society right now with the evolution of technology and a product so simple like this uh, it looks so simple but it has so many uses across the trades and this is a tool that our inspectors are, are playing around with and finding great value in and again it, there's we can only see what we can see when we're on site and there's plenty of areas that are make it hard for us to get to uh behind dryers up chimneys you know in those hard to reach areas and to be on the fly and quickly out of my tool bag to pull a little right. self-expandable stick like this and to get this guy on here, now all of a sudden I can see places where I couldn't. Right. And, you know, we've, we, our clients are always concerned about those details that we can't find, right? right. And we're not going to rip open walls, but a tool like this can really help us get into those hard to reach areas and clearly see what's really going on. Um, and so. One of the things I'll, I'll mention that just uh, I'm, I'm really pleased about and one of those innovations that we just came up with is we just came up with a 90 degree adapter um, so that so now right so, now, right, right now you can only go one direction. Right, and you can put it on the, um, uh, on the gooseneck and adjust it. But now with this, you'll be able to, to put that on and go 90 so you could go straight up or straight down and just by flicking your your forefinger in your in your yeah. thumb you can get a 360 view yeah. so again just That's one great. of those things to further enhance the product um you know it, it's it's Design. not adding cost to the product and no. it's it's a uh it so, really is a great value so retail price you guys are selling this for those are 155 and that's a tremendous value. That's with the, with the stick, the stick, and the in the little carrying case, and that that's a tremendous value because, you know, I think I paid 170 for my Fuji Coolpix camera, right? Um, just a couple years ago, but it's a bigger, bulkier thing, and it, it, the lighting wasn't as good, and the app was the app is what's really powerful with this cable fare. I, I can't stress that enough. The, the device itself is phenomenal, 
but there's nothing frustrating more for a home inspector or any tradesman to be out there trying to get the damn photo right. <laughs> onto their mobile device. Right. So it's a free app as well. Yeah, so that that is a huge win for Cable Ferret is the app connection and the Wi-Fi range. Um, they've got a other slew of products to help mobilize and be able to do your job freely while still getting good pictures. So uh, you can go on their website, cableferret.com, um, or you'll soon be able to go to brickkicker.com and order these as well. Um, great product. I think uh, our guys across the franchise network and our local outfit will really love this tool. Great. Um, and I'm excited to see what Andrew's got cooking down in New Zealand. Yeah, uh, he's, uh, he's always uh, he was a little frustrated uh, these days <laughs> that he can't uh, get out jump much. over to China or back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, what they, the, the deal now is uh, if, if he leaves New Zealand, he has to be quarantined for 14 days when he gets back to the country, yeah. right? They've done a great job with the, with suppressing COVID-19, yeah. but uh, they want to keep it that way. Yeah, so, no, I don't uh, blame them. So, yeah, uh, and we're we're thrilled to be able to, to provide it to your guys, and we're glad great. you like it. And, and again, uh, you know, any videos and stuff that you guys have, and, you know, we love to get that, and we put it up on our site. Um, and we, you know, you've got a line right to the top on uh, suggestions of things. Um, and actually, uh, talking to you about the painter's pole that you guys use, mm -hmm. um, I'll talk to Andrew about an adapter for that. Yeah. That might make using that even easier. Yeah, because a painter's pole or a tripod or something, they've all got a universal amount, and I think right. it's just another small evolution. Um, now, I, the one question I hear in the back of my head, because I know I want to tell someone about this, I know exactly who, but I know the response, and it's going to be like, well, what about GoPro? And what have you gotten that question before? Well, we what have kind of comparison. We, we have, uh, and what we generally get it. And GoPros are great, and they're mm -hmm. they're very useful for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, but they're Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and uh, they're quite a bit more expensive. Sure, absolutely. And you know, you can put that on the top of your thirty-foot pole, and if something happens, something happens. But I know you don't want to drop that GoPro or exactly. have that you know damaged. Exactly. Um, so really, it's a cost thing, and it's a. Um, you know, guys, many guys who have GoPros and are used to using those say, God, I just love how quickly I can sync your camera to my smart device yeah. and be off to the races. And the other thing is, um, you know, oftentimes the ferret will be a good first look, right? Sure. It doesn't have to be the final thing you use. But if you're trying to, you know, figure out, do I need to get a ladder in here? Do I need to get my drone up? Mm -hmm. Do I need the GoPro? Um, you know, let's take a quick look with the ferret. And then you can make a better decision. Or yeah. it might be done at that point. And That's great. Figured it out. And, and you know, from the trade side of answering that question, GoPro or Ferret? I mean, GoPro is great for a lot of action, uh, intense sport movements, and things like that. This is good for on-site quick. The, the lighting and the capacity of this thing is phenomenal for quick uh, identification or uh, prognosis of a, of a situation. The GoPro is great for mobile movement and right. video recording yeah. and things like that. Uh, this is good for small blips um, and it really does the job. So GoPro, if you guys want to use it, great, but it's a, I think it's above and beyond and to the point a lot more expensive. Right. Um, and to let you guys know too that, that uh, charges on the USB Right. Um, charges in about an hour and a half, and it stays charged at the brightest setting uh, oh, of right. lighting uh, for about an hour and a half as well. So uh, you know you're you're not going to find yourself in a position where you know you're you wait hours yeah, to get a new charge, right? Or you're you know you're out of of charge, and you can obviously charge it right in your car or truck on the way to your next. Uh, so that's great yeah well i uh, see these to be a great value who knows maybe one day these are mounted uh to headsets and your body cams who yeah knows who knows? where it's gonna go we'll, but uh we'll keep innovating we're excited for the product uh we'd be happy and honored to promote it across the brick kicker network uh and to our partners out there in the, in the real estate world thank you again for coming up patrick and uh hey We'd love to get you out there more. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks. Until next time, keep kicking those bricks, and we will be back with another episode with Rob and Andrew. Thank you. Oh.